One of the components we need to address in lighting is ambient luminescence. That was one of the things that Kelly brought up in his paper in, 50, in 1950. And in our line of work, we normally call it ambient lighting because that's actually what it does. It lights up the ambience. So when you have the, uh, the task lighting that lights up the task area, you need to take care of the rest of the, um, of the area that you're in, that it'll be pleasant. Normally we have a, a guide rule that we say we work with a ratio called 10 to 3 to 1. So if you have the closed field, you have like one unit of light here, you need about two thirds of it in the ambient area and then it fades out. But it's just a matter of understanding how our vision system works, that the focus is on the visual tasks and the rest is filling in so that it becomes pleasant to read at that. It's of course much more critical now when we use computer screens all the time that we have light behind the computer screen, we have decent light on the screen. But this ambient is, is so much more, it creates the world we're living in because we experience the world in the vertical plane. It doesn't really matter how much light we have on the floor, it's about what hits the vertical plane, what hits my face right now. That's how we experience the world. So if you ask somebody, how do you like the lighting in here? And people will say, oh, it's pretty nice, it's bright and clear. Then they judge the vertical illumination. And that's where we provide the ambient lighting. So it creates ambience, it's about emotions. And luckily we have managed to get it into the international standards that you need to have lights on the wall. Because if you don't have that, it becomes this cave feeling that you're sitting somewhere around a little campfire, which can be nice as well. But, but at the end of the day, we need the ambient lighting to make the space feel right. Ambient lighting comes very intuitive to us. If you imagine that you are standing on a big open plain or you're standing at the waterfront looking over the ocean, then you have this entire dome in front of you, which is the sky that has a certain brightness. So when you pick up a seashell and you look at that, it has the direct component from the sun and it has all the indirect, all the ambient lighting that comes from the blue sky and lights up that little object that you're holding in your hand. And it's the balance because between that, what you're focusing on and all the ambient light. If you didn't have the ambient light, you would just be looking at that object and you wouldn't experience where you are in the space. And we are built to be out there. We are built to be at the ocean, walking in nature, whatever, that's, that's our reference. So it's so important that we keep remembering to create the ambience because that's where we are, that's where we experience the space. <laughs>